What's up, guys? I'm here in W Trains, and welcome back to Real News. This week is episode 9. So, first off, we're starting here at the Facebook page. Here we have the pictures and stuff. Here's my YouTube video from yesterday driving the Acela and Roblox. That was pretty fun. And the new cameras and the 1066. I was amazed to find 1066. There's the picture of the 5086,000 announcement for the uh, 20 sub special. Cut, 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 cut. What's up, guys? Over here in the trains, and welcome to another episode of Real News. This week is episode 9. Right here once again. So, uh, all the stuff. Hope you're enjoying my rail cam videos. Because I've been out to rail fan as much. Here's the 5086. It's one of the last, uh, Hi hoods. Here's one of my past videos. Last week's round news, episode eight. So let's go. Actually, I'm gonna show you something really quick. Here's all my groups. And that's the thing. I'm not gonna show that. I joined this club about yesterday. So let's find it. It is here. It is my brand new group. It's called the Richlands Area Railroad Historical Society. It has me and my dad in it. Here's the funniest video ever. I'm not gonna play it right now, but it's funny. So here's a few pictures, credits for these. So I'll be back with our first story. To start off rail news today, we're on RitualRailFan.com. I'm presenting you the brand new Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum cams. I showed you the the two cams earlier. So this one's a smart cam, like the one on Tower 55 that some of you guys watch. I don't watch it because I don't have it. So we got, that one's the west, this is the east. The west is going to have sound soon. Mike Sire is the operator. So if I turn my volume up, as you can hear, this has sound. It's a beautiful day in Chattanooga. It's been rainy. Yesterday they cl closed the uh, park, closed everything down due to the bad weather. So, so I'm gonna do a video on this on Saturday to show you guys the Southern 4501 in steam action. So, I can't wait for that. I'll be back with our next story. Our next story is the, uh, is Amtrak. Tuesday was the last day for the I Pacific Holdings of the Hoosier State. Amtrak has taken over. So, what has changed? There also, there's been a, been a few changes, including the greatest thing ever is that their new dome car, the dome car, the, do the ocean view dome car, well dome cars, sorry, the dome cars are being sent to work. So this is cool. So everyone was sad, but at least the train will be also equipped with Wi-Fi. So also it's gonna. So we can't, so some of us can't wait, some of us really hate that Amtrak stop the, uh, is now operating the Hoosier State. Finally, I'll be back with our next, back with our final story today, and plus, a brand new special, and plus, an update, well, <laughs> something for next week. Finally, is that West Virginia Railroaders for CSX, well, West Virginia, all West Virginia Railroaders for Class 1, call for options for taxis. So, you can read all this. I don't, I'm not a subscriber to Trains Magazine, but I do have an account. So, if you're wondering why they want taxis, is because... 
they want a better transport source to the uh, rail yards besides taking their own cars so yeah, you can probably read more of this if you have a subscription so that's it for this week so it's time for that announcement So, after figuring it out, I think uh, the announcement was that the that uh, I guess this that the the excursions are going to be starting for six eleven on April eighth. So it's like a mini one. So, can't wait for this. I will be on the Thomas Hill Rail Cam to catch this moment. So, that's it for now. If you like real news, please give a like. And if you like, well, if you like my channel, please subscribe. I am W Trains. I'll see you next time. I will, and you should probably, should probably, uh, remember to join the, uh, the group, the Richlands Area River Museum, not museum, historical society. Okay, I, oh, okay, now I realize what the real announcement was, that the, uh, that next week's Real News is going to be a special edition.